Welcome back everybody for another Nukes, this time a top 10. So hopefully we'll find one out of these 10 that's actually maybe kind of real. Stay tuned. Okay, Nuke, you're up. This time I need to be convinced that there is something paranormal going on in this world. Mrs. Bro is here with us tonight. Hey! She's going to find something paranormal. Or she's just going to get mad like she did last time. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sorry about that. I'm starting to convince her this is all kind of hokey. No, he's, he's not. It's just these videos suck. <laughs> we agree there. Yeah. Well, let's do it. Let's get it on! <laughs> ghosts caught on camera mistaken identity the next few videos were uploaded to tiktok by a widower from tennessee Dude, who prefers to keep his haunted. identity anonymous he says that he's experienced some what odd things in his house over the last 11 years but recently the activity has become much more extreme he sets up security cameras to capture the bizarre incidents and he says that he believes that the spirit might be the ghost of his beloved deceased wife coming back to visit him. Of course it is. So <laughs> early one morning before heading out to work, the man walks into the kitchen to discover this. Well, as you can see, it's morning, guys. Uh, this is just a quick update because I got to get to work. Uh, but when I says got up this morning to get my coffee, uh, I walked into the kitchen and saw this. So I guess you guys are right that... Uh, Activity seems to be picking up because I have been, you know, doing renovations. I replaced all this stuff, this do it. That really uh, will dishwasher, this activity. stove, the oven hood there. Uh, but this morning when I came into the kitchen, I noticed the cabinet was open. And then I noticed this chair. Uh, so I checked the ring video and it definitely <sighs> freaked me out. So... When he reviews his ring cam footage, it shows a chair sliding all around the kitchen on its own. And then a pale white figure seems to appear from nowhere and violently tosses the chair to the floor. But things are about to take an even more terrifying turn because one day the man starts to hear something walking up and down his hallway. Why wasn't that on the poltergeist video that we watched last? I don't know. Because that was, that that could be considered poltergeist. It literally manifested itself as energy. Why wasn't that on the, whatever. Just. That was manifestation. That little cloudy looking thing. Yeah, what else would it be? It's not a glare. We don't know that. And fishing line could easily do what happened to that chair. How was that fishing line? Well, here's how I would do it. I would tie a piece of fishing line to the back left side, okay. which is where it pulled and turned. Mm -hmm. And then it pulled into the kitchen. Then it said five times speed, which means if it's five times speed, means you could pause that, go in there, get on the other side of the cabinet and pull it and knock it over. I could easily do that. As for the white thing, I don't know. There's no telling what that could have been. I didn't see it violently take a chair and throw it. I just saw something going off in the back that looked like a little mist, and then it disappeared and the chair fell over. But I didn't see any misty hands grab the chair and go, I mean, You're not gonna see misty hands. You're not gonna see this, me grab the chair and Well, it, it was off. gone by the time the chair went over though. 
if it was standing by the chair or the little mist was over by the chair and then it flipped over, I'd be like, eh, mist got something to do with that. Yeah, but here's the thing. It takes enough energy to manifest itself like that. So why would it want to use up even more energy to show itself and show itself throwing the thing? You've got to focus on one energy at a time. Well, if it was trying to manifest itself and it takes that much energy, why bother with the chair? Just manifest. I don't know. You're like, what's up, y'all? the ghost. What's up? <laughs> I don't know, anytime you have tape that can be fast forwarded times five and you didn't see anything change, it was the exact same, it literally was a still frame. You could easily pause that. And why does somebody have a ring camera in their kitchen? I thought rings are what you put on your door when people ring your doorbell. That's why they're called ring. I don't know. I mean, unless they just started making regular surveillance CCTV. Well, why not just get a camera like we've got? we got a bunch of cameras. I don't know, maybe Ring has good reviews. Must have been cheap on Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> All right, dude, my house is haunted. Sorry, my bad. Let's get back to it. He goes to investigate, and what happens next chills him to his core. Not his core. Hey, everyone. Um... Remember I said uh, I didn't know how I'd react if um, this thing started touching? <sighs> well, now we know. It started walking towards me. <sighs> Eleven years that he's been knowing about this thing. <sighs> and I feel my hand on my back. And heard someone whisper. I could it was faint. But when I heard it walking away from me, I finally felt like I could move and I, I ran um the whispering it, it wasn't one voice. It was um a lot of people. His people seem stuck. They were all saying, help me. Hey guys. My uh Paul Walker is back. I'm gonna go into the hallway and see if I can hear. It was faint, it was whispering, and I couldn't understand what it was saying. Mm -hmm. But it was a lot of people, they're stuck, and they all said, help me. So which is it, Donald? Is his name Donald? Uh, I don't know. We're gonna call him Donald. He looks like a Donald. What is it, Donald? Could you not understand it or could you understand it? Was it one person or was it a bunch of people? Donald getting senile, I'm afraid. That sounds like it's down at the end of the hallway. Oh. that he felt a hand on his back and heard multiple voices 
that seemed to be begging him for help. The man no longer believes that the presence haunting his home is the spirit of his deceased wife. He now believes that it might be multiple spirits, or perhaps even something more sinister. But what do you think is going on here? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. What's wrong? Donald, if you, or whatever your name is, dude, my house is haunted, dude. If you're watching this, I'm gonna need you to give me a call <laughs> or an email or something. I'm gonna need to come check out your place. Just, just for. If you really are named Donald, I kind of made that up. Did he say Donald? I don't know. Dude, my house is haunted, dude. I'm just it gonna call like Donald. That. Eleven I need to know. years. Eleven years. This has been going on, and now he's no. starting to freak out about it. No, he said it's that he's known about it for about eleven years, but it's only recently started getting to this point. Your house isn't haunted. You're lonely. People are stupid. If I stupid. died, God forbid, if I died and you start hearing some shit or seeing shit or whatever, mm -hmm. would you automatically think, oh, well, maybe it's just Jazz coming to clean the kitchen again? No. <laughs> I would not. <laughs> what in the hell makes me think that it would be of all the people that have died daily for billions of years, that it would be you? Emotional turmoil. Cuckoo! Emotional turmoil. Cuckoo. Come on. That's what that for real. It's like all those people that think it's, oh, that's little Billy. Little Billy likes to play with the ball. How do you know it's little Billy? It could have been a Civil War guy that died and he's trying to find his arm before he can go up to heaven. He's like, I ain't going to heaven without my arm. <laughs> I'm gonna find that son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna go bug her and let me go over there and uh, find my arm so that find I can take that arm. with you. You know, you don't know what the hell that is. Wrong with this picture. What's wrong? This with next this spooky picture? video was posted to Reddit by a mysterious no, account that has since disappeared. The Reddit user claimed that a friend took a very odd iPhone Live photo of their family. Now, for those who don't know, an iPhone Live photo records one and a half seconds of video before and after a picture is taken. So the photographer says that everyone in this picture was accounted for, except for one disturbing extra. As the photo oh. is taken, a bizarre white figure on all fours appears out of nowhere and crawls out of sight. That's cool. Strangely enough, whatever this is was not there in the photo and just seems to appear out of thin air. According to the Reddit post, the person who recorded the live photo has no idea who or what mm. this could be. So, what do you think this is? Skinwalker. Skinwalkers are aliens from another planet here to figure out why we allow liberals to make laws. <laughs> okay, we're not doing this here. <laughs> That's why they're still here is they're like, you're still letting them make laws? Do you see your economy? They're never going away. Never going away. For the last three years, Lee from the paranormal YouTube channel, Really Haunted, has been documenting terrifying paranormal activity that he and his wife have been experiencing oh, inside their home in England. The supernatural events that. have yeah, become increasingly more extreme and violent throughout the years. And Lee says that he is desperate to find a solution to his paranormal problem. Move. Hi guys, so over the last few nights, it's been absolutely crazy in the house. I've, you know, I've, I don't remember the last time I had a good night's sleep lately, if I'm being honest. Um, Now Lee keeps static cameras set up in his bedroom and living room that constantly record. Late one night, he and his wife Stacy are sleeping peacefully in bed when the static camera catches something truly 
unnerving. Go, puppers, go! The dogs look at the other one like, I can't <laughs> shit. <laughs> Did you do that? No. Nope. <laughs> oh, talks don't lie, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost pug Ooh. climbing the wall. Dude, I just got chill bumps. Let me up in there. Oh, son of a bitch. What the hell was that? Look like a blanket or something. You see that? You need some new dolls. <laughs> Bark something. Yeah. You need to go pee. <laughs> These poor little dogs grow increasingly upset as they hear loud bangs coming from somewhere in the house. Then a small teddy bear appears to be lifted up into the air by some sort of odd smoke-like entity. Lee decides to change up his recording equipment and adds an SLS Connect camera to the mix to see what it might capture. Oh, man. Late one night these when Lee is alone and fast asleep yeah, in bed, this happens. I love some SLS though. Oh shit. Let's get it on. <laughs> Dude. It's like a 1980s video game. <laughs> Dude, it's just sitting there just staring at him. Let me in this place too. Okay, I'm bored. <laughs> Good, he's sleeping. I'm gonna wander off now, get back into my Activision. <laughs> Lee twitching like a mofo. You know what these remind me of now that I'm thinking about it? The um, Spider-Man and Friends, the um, the Electro. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Electro. <laughs> now the red one's coming over there. Is this a this is a different one. Oh crap! Oh, chicka wow! Kiss it! <laughs> Kiss it! Probably what it's doing to you. It's like, ah, knocked over your shit. Pick it up. It's just gonna crawl away now. I think it's a deuces. <laughs> the SLS camera picks up a figure walking around Lee's bedroom, and it seems to have a strange interest in Lee's bedside table. The figure then climbs onto the bed. Next, it seems to creepily lean right over Lee to violently knock over the bedside table. Later, a static camera in the living room records something absolutely terrifying. <coughs> Did you see it? As the no. light flickers on and off for just a fraction of a second, a very tall, dark figure can be seen oh. standing in Lee's living room. Lee says that this footage is the creepiest thing he's ever recorded in his home, and it has left him terrified. But what, what do Atari you think is going on here? 
Is Lee's home, quote, really haunted? You can watch many more scary videos of Lee's the paranormal that encounters that over like on his YouTube channel, Really Haunted. <sighs> he needs to find a new home. If that's for real. Or we'll find an exorcist. Or a priest. House. Something. Or call me up. <laughs> What's your overseas I'm not getting on a plane? Mm. The little Atari thing that climbed in his bed and knocked his table over, if that's for real. Hit me up. Get the hell out of there. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, do that. Don't. I mean, I don't understand. If, if the man named his channel Really Haunted. So if you know that you're really haunted, why don't you really get your ass out of the house and leave? Back. This next video was sent directly to me by Nuke's Top 5 viewer Elias, who lives in Brazil. Elias says that he usually records videos while playing the piano just to help him memorize the chords that he's learned. But this time, he accidentally records something very creepy. Elias is terrified when he sees a dark silhouette standing behind him in the reflection of his TV. He quickly turns around, but there's nothing there. So could Elias have recorded a paranormal entity on camera? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. Lost. Those don't really do it for me. I don't know, that could have been a shadow of anything. That didn't look like a person. Like a sex toy. <laughs> the sex doll, she's kind of hanging out. He had one of the little 12 inch things that was kind of sitting off oh, to the side. And when he looked up, it was reflecting off the TV, and he's like, Oh, oh god, but make sure I don't put the camera on that. There wasn't much to that one to really discuss, so let's just go on. Yeah, oh no, his name is Zozo. <sighs> yeah, this Bad is, memories. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Paranormal investigation team Ochai, Uchida, Nagao, and cameraman Minaguchi from the YouTube channel Zozozo traveled to the allegedly haunted Shinshu Kanko Hotel in Nagano, Japan. The ominous sure. sprawling hotel was built in 1951 and now resembles a creepy maze-like structure after repeated expansions and renovations for over 46 years. The hotel eventually declared bankruptcy in 1997 and was left abandoned. And they found and a here's woman in a white dress with long weird. black hair. Because not one, but three different demolition companies have attempted to tear down the Shinshu Kenko Hotel. All of them failed, went bankrupt, and were forced to stop. Hmm. Creepiest of all, the managing director of one of those companies... I got some C4 says I could get that completely. down. ...completely. Another demolition manager claimed yeah. that he was pushed <laughs> down a staircase by some invisible force. Workers on the demolition teams found the experience unnerving. They would complain of hearing the unexplained creepy laughter of women throughout the hotel's winding halls. Many believe that the maze-like construction of the hotel is the reason why spirits have become lost and trapped in an eternal search for the way back out. Yeah, While the Zozozo team explores the large hotel, they begin to hear disturbing sounds coming from somewhere nearby. え、どういうこと<笑><笑> やばいやばいやばい。やばい、やばい。<笑> 
誰かが動いてること扉開けたり足音だったりなんかどかしたり普通に誰かとバッティングしてる可能性があるみたいなだったらまだ something that sounds almost like the crying of a child They wonder if they might not be alone in the building, but they continue to explore. That's when they spot something terrifying. No, t a t e m o n o k o z o this year. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress with long black hair. It's a woman in a white dress すいませんすいませんびっくりともしないですよえ見えますよね見えますね見えますよねあの気づくとあのあの僕は確かに見えるんですすいませんすいませんうふふ動かないもん動かないもんじゃじゃじゃ危ないこれは危ないなんかもうもうそう言われたらそうにしか見えないんだもんめちゃくちゃ震える<笑>えでもさ本当違うさすがに違うよいやわかんないですけどいやもうちょっとねえあの木ですかえ違うんですよ違うちょっと待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待って木っすね人隠れてるとかマジで本当にマジで本当に怖い外完全に外もう外ほら建物終わってるうわうわうわ崖じゃん下崖じゃん The Zozozo team sees someone standing in a doorway at the end of a hall and start to freak out When the dark footage is enhanced it becomes clear that there is indeed an odd figure just standing there Seeming to stare right at them. At least she doesn't have a white dress. As they move closer to investigate, the figure now seems to have disappeared into thin air. That But kinda... that's not all, because the most disturbing encounter of the night is something that the group did not even notice. At one point, the team splits up to explore different parts of the building. Uchida and Nagao are alone and making their way towards the rooftop when they capture something absolutely terrifying. Did you see it? Yeah, Uchida and Nagao are completely unaware as they walk right past someone standing、color. in one of the hotel rooms. The creepy stranger is facing the wall, yeah, seemingly <laughs> unconcerned as the two investigators pass. The Zozozo team never even noticed this person while filming. The figure was pointed out in YouTube comments. The Zozozo team has no idea who this is. They believe that it could just possibly. Be one of the spirits trapped in the old hotel. The spirit that wears a suit. What do you think these eerie apparitions could be? Let me know down below. What's a hotel? So the hotel concierge that died there is like facing a wall when they walk by. I mean, these are the kind of people that go to Las Vegas looking for a hooker, and they finally pick one up. They get her back to the hotel room, and as soon as she starts taking off her clothes, they're like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We're supposed to get this real. <laughs> Why are you investigating if you're not gonna? I mean, it looked like somebody was down that hallway. I don't know. Maybe go down the hallway. That's why you're there. I don't understand. Take some、hunters. blunt object with you just in case. But yeah, go down there. Exploration gone wrong. Twenty-six-year-old Magnus Rizmir has always had an interest in hiking. 
and his YouTube channel is dedicated to his explorations of the beautiful countryside of Norway. Almost all of his videos show him hiking, canoeing, or camping, except for one. There is one very bizarre video that Magnus claims was sent to him by a friend. Oh, of course it was sent by a friend. <clears throat> we will. Gamle driten her. Faen, ass. Electricity, that means somebody probably live in there. This is gonna go well. He's gonna get shot. <laughs> you turned all the other lights on. Why not turn on the lights in the hallway? I hate small lights like this. Magnus's friend yeah. is out hiking in the middle of nowhere and discovers an old abandoned house. Old he decides to investigate inside but regrets his decision almost immediately as something or someone scares the living <laughs> out of him. Now whether this video is paranormal, a prank, or that maybe even creepy. just a very unlucky encounter with a squatter, <laughs> laugh, it's a month, we'll uh, never like know. Mannequin of some kind. But what do you think? <laughs> Real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? It you decide. Power. It's not ah! abandoned. The road less traveled. The road Take less traveled. Tiktak user Rifki from Bengkulu, Indonesia says that he was returning from a quick trip to pick up some items at the local convenience store. But on his way back home, he has a terrifying encounter. Okay, guys, gue dari baru dari Indomaret dan gue abis belanja di Indomaret dan sekarang waktu mau balik ke kos dan di ujung itu kayak ada orang orang atau apa gue nggak tahu ya guys dan ini cuma jalan satu satunya untuk ke kos gue gitu. Why is he recording this? Aja. Do people give a damn Sampai. that he went shopping? Gue nggak tahu ini orang atau enggak ya. Oh, I see the oh oh. You better run for your life, buddy. Gue nggak tahu apa aja. Hilang anjir, kemana tuh orang? Why would you give yourself the time to look back if anjir, you're not freaked out? Hilang, like, run. He walked right past A strange her, woman dude. seems to just stand motionless on the side of the road. Rifki is freaked out, and since this is his only way home, he decides to just run past the bizarre woman. But when he turns to look back, she has disappeared. The chilling figure appears to be a woman in a dress with her hair covering her face. Yeah, no. Rifki is uncertain That's of what he has just witnessed and wonders if he captured something paranormal. That is not so is like this a real ghost caught on camera or just someone acting really strange? I leave it up to you to decide. That would freak me out, I'm gonna be honest. You can tell they don't have crackheads in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't know how to act around weirdos. What I don't understand is why if he was so freaked out by her when he walked right I by her, her, he doesn't stop and go, ma'am, are you okay? I wouldn't have even done that. I mean, clearly it was a person. That didn't look like clearly. any ghost. And he took off running, it startled her, and she ran off or something, or it was all planned, and she went and hid. And Why was he filming himself walking back? Okay! I went to the convenience store. Got me a drink. <laughs> no, maybe That's was, the direction back to my home. Maybe it was one I'm of gonna those... I'm going to walk that direction. No, wait. 
maybe it was one of those, there's some creepy ass bitch sitting here, and if I don't make it back, you know who did it. <laughs> here you notice go. her until after he'd already give us the whole lowdown of how he went looking for, through the convenience store for crap and what direction his home was. Who's recording this crap and who's watching it? Yo, <laughs> just got my butt waxed. <laughs> Yo, just got my butt waxed. That shit hurt. <laughs> I mean, nobody cares. Who would watch this crap? <laughs> this guy's recording. Who's he recording it for? Oh, my God. That's why I'm suspicious of all this stuff, because it just seems silly to me, because... Yo, I'm down all 12. <laughs> Got that popcorn. Got that popcorn. Who would care? Who's going to watch that and be like, oh, man, did you check uh, the Bro Down channel to see if they went shopping at the convenience store yet? Yeah. Uh... Anywho. Hmm. Shivers. Shivers. Paranormal investigators Casey and Colton from the popular ghost hunting channel Mindseed TV travel to Colorado to spend the night in a house that is isolated in the middle of the dark snow covered woods. The house's owner Sarah says that when she's in bed at night, she often hears the creepy sounds of children playing outside her window. Even though the temperatures are below freezing and there are no neighbors anywhere nearby. Well, Sarah found out that a boy who had previously lived in the house fell through the ice in the creek right behind their home and drowned. Casey and Colton are invited so to spend the night the at the house to investigate. As they explore the home, they immediately find that something so very strange. Hey. This looks like, uh, what the f This looks like dog, like dog nose, you know, it drifts down. You know what I'm talking about? Like when a dog like sticks their nose constantly? That absolutely does not look like that. It looks like fingers. Next, the guys decide to venture out into the snowy Spooky. night to explore the creek behind the house. And Ooh. things just get weirder. Ooh. Hey. Real quick. No boy. Whoa. These, do these look like adult footprints or? No. Those look like kids, right? When we approached the bridge, we looked down like and there was these single file, like small footprints, definitely smaller than ours. Here, wait, check this out. Hold on. I just want to do this for the- And we were like, dude! For your sake. Here, look, this is, this is the size of one of my footprints. That's an adult footprint. Those are tiny, huh? Those yeah. Are little. Small child shoes to just, something just like sprinted across the bridge. So see the impression of the foot. What are you doing? Hopscotch with one it. foot? No, look, you can tell it's off. No, that's how you walk. There's no more footprints. He just said sprinted. Oh, you no can tell more. it was running. They stopped. They didn't even get all the way. They got like right here on the other side of the, the creek. But look, look. Look at the um, bridge. Yeah. They stopped. And the, there's none around here. That's wild. That's the truth. That is the truth. The Mind Seed TV team find what appears to be a child's fingerprints on the house's window and small footprints outside in the snow. They try to make contact with the spirit that might be haunting the home, but they don't really have much luck. So they decide to just set up a static camera and head to bed for the night. Should've went outside. But just like the homeowner Sarah had told them, they hear something strange from outside their bedroom window. Who are you going to call? Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like a song. Do you sing for Pierce the Veil? That's weird, dude. I'm gonna, we should get the flashlight. That's weird. The guys hear a strange sing-song voice coming from outside and decide to head out to investigate. But just as they start to put on their warmer clothing, Casey catches a glimpse of something through the downstairs window. Something downright chilling. Chilling. It's always chilling with Nuke. Hey, cut the light. 
I swear I saw something move outside. And when I asked Colton to turn off the lights, I was not prepared for what we both saw. Hey, Sorry. cut the light. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something run past, like outside, something moved. You, what is that? Do you see that right there? Dude, what is that? Oh, know, bro, it's show. moving, it's moving. Dude, that's what running. Is that? Oh, oh, oh dude. What the f bro? I can't, I thought oh, that was a shadow. God, bro. It like disappeared. Dude, I'm feeling all types of weird right now, dude. <laughs> so the guys have seen fingerprints and jacket. footprints, heard childlike singing, and creepiest of all, they now see a small shadowy figure that seems to just be watching them from the bridge across the frozen creek. Now it should be noted the temperature was freezing that night, the snow was thick on the ground, and there were even warning signs of hungry bears in the area. So it seems highly unlikely that anyone would be standing all alone in the dark on that little bridge. But as always, let me know what you think down in the comments. You can watch this entire investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel, mm -hmm. MindSeed TV. I'd be all over that. Do you see that right there? I'd be running towards it. Oh, bro, it's moving. It's moving. What the f is that? Oh, oh dude. What the f bro? I can't. I thought that was a shadow. It like disappeared. Story time. Well, we know what that was. If you say it was just some random person standing on the bridge. No. Bigfoot. Oh, God. That was Bigfoot. Look, all you cryptid people. Skinwalker. <clears throat> Could have been a bear. There was an alert for hungry bears. Yeah, that didn't look like a bear. It looked smaller than that. Bears come in all sizes? They gotta Sorry, be I don't mean to discriminate against their size. Yeah, they gotta be daddy bear. It could have just been a little baby bear that... I mean, that was, ran on its back legs? They walk on their legs. Ran? Well, he moved forward. You saw him tumble forward as he took off. He fell forward. I didn't see it fall forward. I saw it doing this sort of Did thing. Did you see it fall forward? I think I saw it fall forward. I didn't see it fall forward. It looked like it ran, like sprinted like a person. Laura from the YouTube channel Laura's Kitchen regularly uploads fun videos sharing her tasty recipes Ooh. and love for cooking. One night she decides to go live on YouTube along with her son Max. While telling a story about her son, something happens that shocks them both. So we bought the dog these buttons, and they're programmed. That one says play, right, when he steps on it? So anyways, for a month, Oscar has been walking around the house um, saying to me, your mom, your mom is dead. And it really got me upset. It was getting me very emotional because she did pass away like 20 years ago. And I'm like, why, why are you doing that? The wound is still fresh. You know, for a solid month. And then finally he stopped getting a reaction out of me. So we were um, at the back door and the dog had to pee. And there's a button that says pee pee by the back door. And I'm like, wow, you know, it's been quiet. Oscar has not bothered me all day. This is great. I think he's finally over this, right? So I said to the dog, hit the button. You want to go pee pee, hit the button. So he hits the button and it goes, your mom's dead. <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, I hear in the back of the back by the stairs, because the stairs are in the opposite direction, I hear <laughs> Do you think it's a joke? So yeah, <laughs> that's an evil story. Evil story. <laughs> oh my god. I love that or she's oh, Tracy saying hi. <gasps> Oh, what else are we hearing here? <coughs> is, my, is my house haunted? Hmm? Is my house haunted? Why? What's up, Angie? Who's watching this? They can Sorry, chime in. Too fast to spell it right. I don't know. I sometimes I get a feeling there's something happening in my house, but mm. I don't. Uh, 
Oh, no. Nope. Yeah, yeah, it's haunted. The dog out. wants to go for a walk. Okay. What did she see? I think it, I heard something in the background earlier. I thought the I lights did flickering. Get the salt. Right. Sorry, typing too fast. That's strange. The cabinet behind you just opened and closed on its own. What? Is that what that was? about her mother, a kitchen cabinet opens and closes very quickly on its own. Laura hears something, but shrugs it off and continues to tell her story. Now remember that all of this happened live on YouTube. So in Laura's live YouTube comment feed, one of her worried viewers warns her about what just happened. Laura is confused and goes to inspect the cabinet. Then all hell breaks loose. A week later, and Laura's back on YouTube and reflects on what happened that night. That night, I didn't sleep a wink. Absolutely petrified. Wow. My husband came home. I didn't call him at work because I, I figured he would tell me I was being dramatic, and uh, I didn't want to hear it. But anyways, small and short of it, the next morning, um, I went to the kitchen. I'm the first one up to get everything ready for the kids for school, and it felt normal. There was no bad feelings. It was completely peaceful. It doesn't feel um, like it was bad. And the more that I watched the video over, um, the more things kind of like, I don't know, I kind of feel like maybe it was my mom. Um, it's just too coincidental because we were talking about my mom. We were telling the story. And as soon as I said that, that last line about my mom is when that started Your mom's happening. Dead. And the weird thing is, if you yeah, look at all my videos like since over a year and a half ago, if you notice in the kitchen, oh, you can't see it from that angle. Hold on. I keep my mom right here, and she sits underneath the cupboard that was <laughs> opening up. So is it coincidence? Is it my mom? If it is, do I want to stage my house and tell her? Yeah. Because I don't, I don't feel weird. I don't feel um, creeped but out or are. violated in my home. I feel nothing. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. So could this be the spirit of Laura's mother trying to make contact? Let me know. You need to, if if you seriously believe that it's your mom. Help her move on, first of all, because you're not supposed to just let them stay, because well, that just causes malevolence. She's got an urn in her kitchen. M my point. You don't want to... Kitchen. You... <laughs> she's exploring health. Shh, don't start assuming. <laughs> with her deceased mom's ashes in the kitchen okay so uh regardless of what she does with her mom's ashes she uh she had two people she needs to on a live them. stream and she's just chattering away she needs to move on with her mother's whole dead thing causes malevolence man when Grandma comes to visit, comes TikTok to visit. user and proud mother Valley Yunker often records short <laughs> videos of her five-month-old baby girl around oh. their house in California. One night, Valley's daughter is playing with her favorite toy when suddenly this happens. Babies. The toy appears to be yanked right out of the baby's hands by some invisible force. Now some cynical viewers of the video claim that they could see a string attached to the toy. But Valley explains in another video that the toy has a cut tag on the back that just looks like a small white line. Valley also says that she's never had anything like this happen before, but she doesn't feel any negative presence in her home. 
She believes that this could be the spirit of her daughter's recently deceased great-grandma just visiting and watching over the baby. So grandma comes back from the dead to slap the toy out of her grandchild's hand. Thanks so much for watching. My upload schedule was all- Don't mess with the baby's spirits. Just I'm leave the scared. babies alone. Leave the babies alone. No, but it's making me want to go and do some paranormal investigating in some places, so. Nukes. Nukes. Still disappointing me. But better than the Poltergeist video. Yeah, that one was really bad. This one at least was entertaining. But, yeah, we had the guy that was getting molested by an Atari action figure. <laughs> it's Electro. <laughs> yeah. We had Donald, who's bawling his eyes out because of a presence he's known about for 11 years. I'm saying help us. All in all, great show. Was anything in this video truly haunted? Did it scare you? Did you have a hoodie on and have to pull the hoodie up over your head, like laid back, freak you out? Tell us. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Do the thing. Do the thing. It's like Casper's site. <laughs> Do the thing. <laughs> Until next time. Come at me, bro!